The last video discussed ways of describing motion based on its position, distance, and displacement. In this video, I am going to discuss other ways of describing motion based on its speed and velocity. First one, the speed. Speed refers to how fast an object is moving. It is defined as the distance moved per unit of time. It is given by the equation speed is equal to total distance divided by total time, or s is equal to d over t. A fast-moving object has a high speed, while a slow-moving object has a low speed. An object with no movement has a zero speed. The average speed of an object is defined as the total distance traveled along its path divided by the time it takes to travel this distance. For instance, a car travels 240 kilometers in 3 hours. We say its average speed is 80 kilometers per hour. On the other hand, velocity describes an object's motion based on the time rate of change in position of a body. It refers to how fast an object is changing position. It is given by the equation change in position or displacement divided by total time. Velocity can also be stated in unit vector form. In velocity, it only considers the displacement between two points, unlike for speed that it considers the total distance. For instance, a person walked 70 meters east and then 30 meters west. Suppose this walk took 70 seconds to complete. Compute the average velocity and average speed of the person. The animation shows the movement of the person. Two movements were given, that is, 70 meters east and 30 meters west. For average speed, disregard the direction of the two movements, that is, distance divided by total time. That is, 70 meters plus 30 meters all over to 70 seconds, which is 1.4 meters per second. For the average velocity, you need to consider displacement, that is, considering the direction of movement, that is, 70 meters minus 30 meters for displacement, divided by 70 seconds as time. Time is a scalar quantity that does not return as you move backwards. So the total average velocity is 0 0.57 meters per second. For the next example, an ion's position vector is initially at r is equal to 5 i hat minus 6 j hat plus 2 k hat. And 10 seconds later, it is at position r equal to negative 2 i hat plus 8 j hat minus 2 k hat. What was its average velocity during the 10 seconds? The ion is placed in a three-dimensional Cartesian plane. For the average velocity of the ion, it can be computed in terms of unit vector notation by taking the velocity in each component. That is, delta x over time i hat for the x component, delta y over time j hat for the y component, and delta z over time k hat for the z component. So the average velocity of the ion is negative 0.7 meters per second i hat plus 1.4 meters per second j hat minus 0.4 meters per second k hat. The following parts of this lecture video will give solutions to the try-it-yourself portion of the module. Make sure to solve it first, then proceed with the video for you to check your solution. On the first item, the runner's position changes from 50 meters to 30.5 meters. So there is a movement going to the left, which gives an idea that the displacement and velocity will be negative. The average velocity of the runner is 30.5 meters, the final position, minus 50 meters, the initial position, which is negative 19.5 meters, divided by 3 seconds as time interval, which is equal to negative 6.5 meters per second. 
The negative sign implies that the runner moved to the left. Next one, a person jogs 8 complete laps around a quarter mile track in a total time of 12.5 minutes. Calculate A, the average speed, and B, the average velocity in meters per second. The animation shows the movement of the runner. Since the problem wants us to have an answer in meters per second, we need to convert the values that is 0 0.25 miles is 402.336 meters and 12.5 minutes is 750 seconds. So the distance traveled is equal to 8 times 402.336 divided by 750 seconds. As stated, the person jogs 8 complete laps. So the average speed of the runner is 4.29 meters per second. And the average velocity is 0. But why? Since the runner makes complete laps, he ended at his initial position. And lastly, a proton is initially located at position R equal to 4i hat minus 2j hat plus 3k hat. And then 4.0 seconds later, it is in position R equal to negative 2i hat minus 2j hat plus 5k hat. In unit vector notation, what is the average velocity of the proton? Its velocity can be computed by computing velocities by component. That is, negative 2 minus 4 divided by 4 seconds for x component, that is negative 1.5 meters per second, i hat. Negative 2 minus negative 2 divided by 4 seconds for y component, that is 0. And 5 minus 3 divided by 4 seconds for z component, that is 0 0.5 k hat. So the average velocity of the proton is negative 1.5 i hat plus 0 0.5 k hat. So that is all about average speed and velocity. On the next video, I will discuss instantaneous velocity. So you need to have a background in calculus for you to understand better our discussion. So till next time.